communicate to the market what it is that we do and we put intelligence into blasting. It's about showcasing the development, the research, the knowledge, the expertise that goes into putting off that optimal perfect blast and there's a lot of behind the scenes you know from product development to delivery system development, manufacturing thereof and even the logistics behind getting an explosive from the plant to a remote site somewhere in the middle of Africa. There's a lot of energy, a lot of thought leadership and a lot of knowledge and it's, and it's been growing within AEL for over 100 years now. So I think it's about communicating that to the customer and also allowing the customer to take a step back and realize, you know, you put a blast off every day. It takes 10 seconds, but there is two, three, four weeks of preparation that goes into every single blast and years of um, development of creating those products that have put off that blast. So it's really about re-establishing who we are in the market. And with that comes this whole philosophy of intelligent conversations. And it's really about having the conversation with your customers. And we like to partner with them. We really believe in a collaborative approach so that when they come to us with a problem, we can customize a unique solution. And it's a combination of products, service, expertise and delivery systems and that's part of our value proposition in Teleblast. So think of a Rubik's Cube, when the correct products with the correct people and it's applied correctly all align, you come up with the perfect blast, an efficient blast outcome and it's safe and it improves your productivity and that's really what we're about. I think uh, just to reflect on 2018, 2018 has been a phenomenal year in growth terms for AEL, specifically in our rest of Africa portfolio. We've seen an organic decline in our South African market, 3% year on year, and this has been for the last number of years. However, we've seen a 30% growth in our rest of Africa footprint, um, which equates in to roughly 4.5 billion rands worth of revenue. So really great opportunities, very excited about the growth, and AEL has been selling explosives into the African mining market for more than 120 years now. So we're well established from a geographical footprint point of view. Also have over four and a half billion rands worth of assets amongst these various countries. We see our growth really coming in our Central Africa portfolio, strong growth in our copper market, and then also in our Francophone West Africa market, where we're really going to put in some more assets and so forth into the future. Really good growth coming for us in 2018 and then for 2019 as well. So AEL has recently adopted a pledge to Zero Heart. So this philosophy is now underpinning a lot of our product and service delivery development. One such example would be the underground bulk offering. So what this is, is we are essentially offering something brand new to a lot of the underground customers, particularly your conventional customers who were typical Anfix users. They've now been given the opportunity to use a technology that only becomes an explosive right on the face. So what this does in terms of risk management, environmental management and explosives control is significant. Um, a second example would be what we term the DigiDebt. Now shock tube, conventional shock tube is, is nice, easy to use and is well known in the industry. And for the first time we've married conventional shock tube and electronic detonators. And what this offers a customer is very simplistic ease of use, but with the significant benefits that comes with electronics, such as precision timing, help prevent misfires, so just overall safety improvement on, on the blast face or on the bench. And the third big development and something that we're very excited about is the IntelliShot. So IntelliShot is what we term the fourth generation detonator. It comes from years and years of R&D and development um, in the field of electronic blasting. So you've got your general um, benefits that have been part of generation two and three, which would be remote firing, multiple benches from a remote, si uh, from a remote point. But what this system does in particular is it does a last deck voltage check. So what you can now do is you can blast through significantly higher leakages. And that means you've got extra safety um, prevention and, and or measures to help prevent lost blast and handling of misfires post blast. So again, not exposing the blaster and the blasting crew to dangerous working conditions. And that's something we're very excited about. 